Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new Space Engineers survival series that I'm going to be doing on the channel. This is hardcore survival. This is going to be probably the hardest survival I've ever done in my probably 1,500 hours of playing Space Engineers. And that is because it is pretty much adding loads of mods that will not benefit me and no mods that will benefit me. And pretty much all the settings you could possibly think of to make it more difficult. So. I'm going to go into the advanced tab first and I'm going to show you. So the only things I have turned up to god speed are the welding and grinding speed. Only because it helps with the pace of the series because I don't want to be taking hours to grind and weld things because to be honest it's just going to be really boring to watch. However, I do have the refinery and assembler efficiencies on realistic as well as the infantry sizes because those don't affect really affect the pace, they'll just make it more difficult. Next we have the environment hostility on Armageddon, as I do in the normal survival, but with no gravel turrets to help me out, that's going to be quite difficult at first. And then we have the asteroids on the lowest density, just so I have the least amount of possible laws to find if I go to space. Naturally we have the wolves and spiders enabled, and also we have auto healing disabled, so no fun. In-game scripts are enabled, and I think that's about it. And now I'm going to show you the mods in this world. Now the only thing I've given myself in this world is the vanilla 2x2 and 4x4 wheels. Just because I have some vehicles that will use them and I'll probably build them. But that's it. That's the only benefit, I want to say, that I have. So we have the Reavers. This is the modified hardcore version of the Reavers. So they are... They're difficult to start with. This hardcore version makes it even more difficult. We have Rival AI, we have NPC Programming Extender to make that work, and Modular Encounter Spawner, and this one, which makes the Reavers spawn faster, which is going to be really, really fun, as you can imagine for me. We're going to be starting on Alien, probably the most difficult planet to survive on. Now, I remember being sat here on just before March, starting the original survival series thinking that was going to be quite difficult starting in space but we're going to be starting on alien with a whole bunch of these really difficult factors to deal with it's going to be interesting to see how this goes this is going to be certainly be a different survival it's going to be a different setting as well oh wouldn't you just want to spawn there wouldn't that be so nice no okay here we go this is an odd landscape this is something that i have not i'm not used to at all and of course we have the spiders to contend with as well, which is going to be really fun. Now, I don't really have a lot of experience doing Alien uh, at all, really. So this is going to be a very interesting one. Um, hopefully I don't get killed in about 10 seconds. We're just going to kind of try and survive as if we were, you know, normally surviving. But the first thing I want... Ooh. The first thing I want to do is immediately get rid of this antenna. Because that's going to be a massive problem for the Reavers. Because um, they can just easily find you if you have anything like that. Now, please land flat. It's not going to land flat. This game is intentionally making this more difficult now. Or not. Oh no, it's going to carry on. Ro it's rolling down. The it's actually rolling down the hill. Alright, so now that this is upside down, it's being very handy. We're just going to... Oh wow, my inventory is f nearly full from that. Oh no. We're going to have to build a cargo container kind of immediately here. We are being attacked by spiders already. We're just going to have to do this. Is it killing him? It's not doing anything. What? What's going on? They are pushing the pod. They're pushing the pod. Oh no. I need to get to the seat and I need to get that gun out. Oh my. Stop. There. I can't kill these things. They're oh no, they are dying. Okay, cool. Grab these. Kill that one. Uh, my jetpack fuel. No. Oh dear. Oh, this ain't. This is not good. We're just going to have to get rid of these then. So I can move. Are you kidding me? Whoa. Whoa, 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 dampeners on. Whoa, this is ridiculous. What the hell is going on? All right, give me a second here to grab my stuff. Um, wow, okay. This is the survival kit, so let's just... I can't put anything in there. What? We're going to have to build a, a small cargo container at this point. We can't. We need an interior plate. Of course we do. I need a way to kill these things. If we build, say, a perimeter, like a small little perimeter around... Are they able to get... Oh, no steel plate. What the... I knew this was a mistake. I can't even pick them up. Drop these radio components. I just picked up loads of scrap metal. I didn't mean to do that. Right, let's just... Come on. Give me loads of these. My jetpack feels low again. Do we have ice nearby? 
No, we don't. We don't have any ice. And now I'm being attacked by more spiders. Let's just put in a... Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. What? What's the point? A grinder is supposed to kill these things, but it's not doing anything. What? It's a good job I haven't got immediate destruction of the world after I die, isn't it? Because this is not going well at all. What? I can't contend with these things. I need to get my pistol out. We've only got four mags. Right, let's grab the pistol then. Come on. Right, we got one. Finally. Where's the other? He's, he's digging down. Right, he's here. Got ya. Alright, finally. We've taken something out. Now I'm just going to get like a, a border going around this whole place. Uh, just to make this a bit easier to actually get on with stuff because I can't at the moment. I may also actually build like an underground thing at this point. Uh, can I do that? Jetpack fuel low. Yes, I know. Okay, I think we should be fine. Uh, yeah, that will be fine, won't it? Maybe I'll expand this a bit more, actually, because this is really small. Oh, no. Oh, I bet they come now, and they go in that small gap at the front. It's, it's like we're trying to build a house here. Okay, cool. Right, I think this is fine. I think we'll be fine here like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start drilling down a little bit. Where is the survival kit? It's this one, isn't it? Oh, of course, that's the the survival kit's at the back, isn't it? Now, I'm just hoping that this wall will actually keep the spiders out because if not, that's going to be slightly embarrassing. I might actually make this side a little bit higher uh, just to prevent them from getting in. Right, okay, good. That's a good preventative measure. measure. I think that'll keep them out. If I can just go down a little bit here. Yes, perfect. Okay, what is next? We're going to grab this stone. We're going to shove it in here. We're going to get... Oh, we've already got interior plates, actually. We can build a cargo container. Excellent. I'm putting down a cargo container before I put down anything else. Um, not even a turbine, because the battery in that pod will last long enough. And it's also just to give us a bit of breathing room in terms of cargo storage, because at the moment, we've got absolutely nothing. Is it not... Why? Oh, because I haven't done that. I completely forgot about that thing. Oh my. Oh dear. We're getting rained on by asteroids, meteors, whatever. So yeah, this isn't quite as easy <laughs> as you can see as the normal survival. Um, although that was a little bit difficult at first because there is a chance that I could just have never found a ship. But even starting with a pod with this kind of difficulty, this is really difficult. I think I have 300 in the container thing. Well, oh my god, they can spawn in here. That was a completely pointless measure. They just can... I can't stop this. I can't stop them. That one just appeared out of nowhere. Although we've got 171 steel plates from that, though. I've, I'm out of mags. I'm actually out of mags. Just as long as they can't get over. We should be fine. Although I said that last time. Well, there isn't really going to be much opportunity to uh, steal ships in this one, <laughs> as you can imagine. Um, because they will just come and directly attack me and there's no easy NPC takeovers in this. This is going to be insane. Um, so I hope you're looking forward to the future of the series. This is going to be definitely a more interesting one. Hopefully I do survive for a little bit longer than 10 seconds. Yeah, look at that. That's glitching all about. But they... How is that on the roof? We're going to have to actually put a roof on this, aren't we? All right, let's put a roof on this. And there's a meteor storm inbound. Oh, no, this is a palaver. All right, let's uh, let's get this cargo container done first. What do we need for this? We need small steel tubes, don't we? Can we actually build them? We can't, can we? Oh, no, we need an assembler. Which means we have to build a turbine. Which means, oh, basic assembler. Here we go. Where are we going to put this? An unknown signal. <laughs> There's no way I'm getting that. Not at this rate. Not the way this is going. All right, we've built three. Of... Can we? Can we build some more, please? We have five iron in there. We need 208 to build this many construction components. What on earth? Really? And it's raining. 
and it's raining, oh dear. Alright, I think with this amount of crap going on, I'm going to end the episode here. So, thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of this brand new series. In the next episode, I'll carry on pretty much. Uh, I may skip a little bit and maybe get the assembler done because it's just going to take years otherwise. Um, but other than that, this area should look pretty much the same in the next episode. I like to do that anyway, just to keep the progress of the series flowing a bit better and to not bore you guys because I know how boring it is to just watch, you know, drilling, drilling, drilling over and over again. So I'm going to try and keep that to a minimum in this series, um, in all of my series actually, uh, just to show you the kind of best bits and the most entertaining bits. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as I really, really do appreciate it. And consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. I'm not entirely sure what that spider's doing, but okay. And finally, consider joining the Discord server. The link is in the description below and it is the best way for you guys to communicate with me directly and give me feedback and suggestions on my videos. So thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.